everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So today we are with uh, the first Astrakhazi militia. We haven't played these guys in quite some time. Uh, we've updated to the new version of Rotec, so I think it's like 115 or whatever it is. It's the one with the, uh, when they've done a, sort of a revisitation on the, uh, I'm not exactly sure which mod it was, but was that it, but it does a revisitation on pilot injuries. So I'm interested to see how that plays out today. So we've got a supporting lance here, and we've got to assassinate this guy back here. So this is just um, the first Ashikazi militia. We haven't seen them in quite a while. They're just um, uh, cleaning up a few bandits that have been roaming around in our territory. So we're just going to go over there and plaster these guys. Now, this is the Two Skull mission versus the Hanseatic League. Um, so I'm hoping that it ends up being okay. We've only got four mechs, and three of them are light mechs. Location and then we got confirmed. we've got five vehicles. So I'm hoping, really, really hoping Position that what we have up. here is going to be okay. But I, I I'm not convinced that it is. All right, enemy contacts. Once again, it's it, it just comes down to you know what do we get as enemies. Now. All right, Bradford, you don't need to be all the way up. Let's get in the trees though. Good to go. And AWACS can go up on top of the hill. Acknowledge. All right, so we got a hunchback, or not a hunchback? Yeah, it is a hunchback 4N. Who's up? Standing by. Who do we try for the? We should get lots of evasion here. There's two of them. An hostile. So that's a 60 tonner, is it not? No. Hostile. There's a scout. Hostile. So this is the medium mech. Ostrock and then Ost War. So that's that's a medium. I have no idea what it's got on it, but we are going to apply some damage to this guy because these guys generally have bad back armor. And I am going to put the rockets on right away and just try and hammer this guy and get rid of him. He's looking for us coming in the wrong direction. Surprise! Surprise! Nice. Now all we have to do is follow up with that. He goes on 13. Chicada back there. Ooh, we got someone else down here too. Bradford. Okay, so they do have another land. So they've got nine. So it's nine v nine. And we can see four. All right. Um, uh, yep. Red Comet, let's get over here. Let's get to here, I think. Ten, four. I think what we want to do though is on this guy, we're going to shoot him in the back, we're going to leave it as chaff, and I'm going to burn my missile racks early, but leave this off. Oh, this is interesting, this wasn't showing up, I ran a couple missions before I updated. So, that's interesting. Operational, so I guess if it so that's where the sensors are now. So what's... Plus two tactic skill for all teammates. Was I just not seeing this before and then... I don't think so. So that's this is with a remote sensor dispenser. Let's drop... Mm, Let's put... Ah. Do we think he's going to shoot? Let's just go with Chaff, just in case he does. Okay, the rocket's hit. Reporting. Critical hit. Nice. My LRMs are out. If we can pull him down early, that's going to be a bonus for us. Did that, did that say Nidhogg? 
I better not have said Nidhogg. Warrior H8, okay. Ready for orders. We've only got one really powerful uh, mech here. That's the uh, Enforcer. Does pretty good damage. So this is our combined arms Irby. Let's go in the trees. So we've got mines on this guy. Not a lot. We've got incendiary mines. And Hydra ammo. And um, arrow. We've got, don't have any SRMs unfortunately, but it's all LRMs on this guy. So let's go with Thunder and Cindery. Is that out of range? That's out of range. That's not though. He's probably going to come up this road, so let's give it to him on the road there. Great thing about this, the incendiaries is I believe it does extra damage to vehicles, so... Okay, that Hunchback's dead. No problem. Hunchback's dead. So now the AMS's as well automatically default to overload. If you notice here, the AMS Mark II is automatically defaulting to overload. That is to help the enemies out. Uh, they also worked on the clustering to fix the clustering with missiles. This guy's dead. Yeah, I see pilots bleeding out. Five actions remaining. Five activations remaining, sorry. Not exactly sure what all that means, but uh, he's dying. Alright, Austell's coming up. Oh, he's running. Where do you think you're going? What? No. You don't have anywhere to go. Second mobile turret, same thing. Going as fast as I this one can. doesn't have any mines, it's just missiles, and it's got a mine dispenser. Remote sensor dispenser. We're going to fire on this guy. Let's just go with standard. The LK's not giving us that much of a deal. So this guy's got two larges and probably four me Or two larges, two mediums, two smalls, probably. Ah, still, it's heavy. So this is the 60 ton version. Here we go. So is the Ostrock the 40 tonner? I think so. I've been having really good really good um, success with these sensor dispensers. Um, good to go. It's shocking how much of a bonus you actually get uh, when you hit hit somebody with a like a tag and a sensor dispenser and um, sensor missiles, things like that. It just really jacks up your chance to hit. Like it won't affect him now, but once he moves and goes through the mines. They clear like any other mines, like if you hit it with a PPC or a HE round, it'll clear all the mines. Um, yes, so it'll be less effective, but um, it's still pretty darn good, I gotta say. So I'm not gonna use... We'll see what our chance to hit is here. Yeah, see, so the Thunderbolt's got a 12%, so we're gonna switch it up to HE. It'd be 16 on this guy, but we're gonna change targets. Gonna drop it on the Chicada back here. Firing. It's not gonna do much, but... Alright, a little bit of illumination. And he's going the other way. Of course he is. So he's got the same thing that we do. What do you need? Thunderbolt. We gotta kill him fast if we can. Okay, let's get my tanks up here. Got a pair of tanks. I got the Prowler and the uh, and the Bulldog. Locked on. Both of these guys are okay. Armor is okay. The weapons are okay. No joy. But they're slow, and um, you have no way to upgrade them. So it's not like you can upgrade their targeting systems. They are. They kind of are what they are. And I'm not going to bother shooting because I'll probably shoot my own guy in the back. And this Mantis is like a 30 tonner, so it'll go right through his back. Ready for orders. Alright, buddy. So this guy's a, technically a melee mech. Technically. I play him as a fast scout, I don't play him as a melee. Because he doesn't do a lot of melee damage, but he's got a lot of lasers, so and he's really fast, so 
as you can see, well, he's only got four chevrons here, but he can get up to six on open terrain. Got the tag on. If I can get a narc beacon, I want to drop it on here too. Where are the other enemies? That's got me worried. I don't know where the other where they are. They could be down here. Well, that was the warrior. Skipper. Let's just focus on this guy for now. Worry about those right, other guys in a minute. Move. And maybe we can pick up some more some more of those enemies on sensors here. No? Okay. Uh, now we'll drop the arrow on this guy. Uh, how much armor do you have on your legs? 84. Let's not, let's not use the bomb mines on this guy. Uh, looks like we've already got sensors on. Let's go with long fire sensor. Get some more in there. This guy's moving right up. I don't know if that's the main boss dude or what. Receiving you. Can't get a clear shot at him, but we'll move up the enforcer. This thing's brutal, man. ER large laser, rotary AC5, and a, and a uh, ER medium. I can pretty much fire everything each, like every turn, or I can just turn off the ER medium to drop my heat. We're going to uh, attempt to do a lot of damage to this guy here if we can early. We're heating up. I can drop the ER large for a turn too. Receiving you. Okay, our mine layer. Move order received. We're gonna use our uh, Artemis ammo though. Oops. There we go. And we'll target this guy. Copy that. The only reason why I have the MML nine on there rather than an LRM. Uh, 10. Um, because I want the option to be able to swap out with close range ammo if I need to. Okay, let's get up here. Okay, we could drop mines eventually on that guy. So there's a blackjack back here. So maybe they're all down here. They're just farther back and I can't see them? I don't know. It just feels weird to me. They're there somewhere. Okay, it's giving me six more percentage percentage points. So let's go with that. Uh, we'll leave the sensor missile off. He's got two on him already. So apparently the clustering that they had going in the past, um, sort of like even with the minor bonuses in clustering, let's see how many detection times twenty two. So we'll see how easy it is to hit this guy in a second here. Um, apparently even with like the lowest amount of clustering it gave you like massive bonuses so they fixed it so I mean uh, moderate, moderate chan increased chance to hit in this guy yeah not as much as I thought it would be but then I think it also depends on the pilot sensor checks and things like that too right so location confirmed Yeah, it's like moderate on this guy. Copy that. So you can see what I mean about the vehicles. Like, you they are what they, they are what they are, right? You're not going to get anything any better. You can't improve them in any way. So on my way. Double time. they're really supposed to be for support. But okay, switch back to standard. See if we can get a land, land a shot on him for 60 damage here. Target confirmed. No. Nope. Elimination. Solid connection, that one. My old mama can hit harder than that. Yeah, baby. The AWAX, you know, it's weird because I was I was unclear whether I should choose that at the start. Um Yeah. What can I do you for? Now that I've been using it. I can't remember if it's yet to been sh shot down, but all the uh, I've been playing a few matches like over the weekend and stuff with this guy, with this unit and that. 
it's I get it right in close and it's yet to be shot down. I think it's just because of the ECM and, and it generates a fair amount of evasion, so the enemies just don't bother shooting at it. I'm gonna make this and this two dog with this cloudbuster, I swear to God, is hitting low percentage chances with these large lasers all the time. Still landed the shots, eh? All right, time to move on. Move up a little bit. I want to see what else is up here. Cestrus hover, hover tank. What's this guy? Urban tank LRM. That's not good. Blackjack. All right, bomb mines on the Chicada. And that looks good. Copy that. This is a prime vehicle to pull the legs off of. It's got like no armor on its legs. Okay, warrior. Receiving you. Outrigger. Outrageous. So wait. That's the side that's damaged. Let's just get right here. And get our stability back. Unload into the side of this guy. I'm trying not to grab too heavy, me too many heavy mechs. Um, in this playthrough, I think the Enforcer is probably as heavy as I want to go because I want to get the vehicle weight up a little bit more first before I increase the weight of the um, mechs. Because this is primarily primarily a, a vehicle playthrough, so I want to have eight vehicles and four mechs and then see how high we can go with it. Play three. All right. Let's go this route. Let's just give him the big ba-boom. Bleeding out. Six activations remaining. So my guess is, is that if you get injured and you're bleeding out, probably means that you've got six turns before you're, you're considered incapacitated. If I had to guess, that's what I would say. Uh, let's get to here. Get under that AMS. Now, 15%. This guy's almost done. I mean, I could just leave him now and see what happens. Like, he really isn't that much of a threat. What's the chance on this guy back here? Yeah, you know what? We're going to just leave our turn here. Not going to bother attacking with this guy. I'm interested to see where that Bradford goes on the left there. If he comes up that road or not. He may just go back and forth where he is. back Like backwards and forwards. So he's gone through sensors. Obvious target times two. Doesn't tell me much. How much did you take from the bomb mines? Okay, almost 30. Well, yeah, 20 probably on both. It's not too bad. You didn't move very far. On my way. Prowler. Yeah, see, like, it's... As much as I want to go up in difficulty, two skulls is probably my limit. Simply because the vehicles just can't do the job. Like, the crews are okay. I mean, they got like fours, fives, and sixes on their skills right now, so they're still kind of mediocre. But even with gunnery at 10, you're only increasing it by like, what, another 4 or 5%? Which isn't a lot. Aye, aye. Let's 
Let's get up here. Roger. And of course, to get those bigger, heavier vehicles, you got to take bigger, heavier missions. I mean, I guess I could put together a lance of like heavier mechs to do that and try and grab vehicles, but kind of defeats the purpose of this playthrough. Yeah, see, the AVAX got five chevrons of evasion plus stealth, so it's really tough for them to do anything. Yeah, he's just, that Bradford's just going back and forth. Oh, he's cleared the mines out. He's almost out of HE though, I think that's What's up, Commander? It's round four right now, it's probably his last round. Let's get on this aircraft, that's what this guy's meant for. We'll call him a cloud buster for nothing. Nope. Trying to embarrass me after that last turn saying, oh yeah, this guy hits low percentage shots all the time. Not today. Just doesn't do it when I'm on camera, that's what it is. Almost out of AMS here, I think. I think we might be out of AMS. Standing by. If anything, for the aircraft, if I could make Calling one out. request, like, for vehicles and stuff, I understand not changing the loadouts and that, because they're really kind of fixed as to what they are. Should probably go after this guy. Actually, that's pretty darn good on the Warrior, though. Take that shot. Not too bad. My request would be that make the uh, the bomb pods interchangeable. I guess the best way to do that though would be to have like I don't know how I don't know how you would go about doing it other than let me just see this here. 27, 35, let's get to here. What I would do is, um, you know when you lose a vehicle in a fight? Um, you get X amount of parts back with it? All right, everybody. I wonder if they should do it so that, like, if you build a vehicle, or you take vehicle parts, they give you a random mix of, of parts so that you can disassemble and reassemble oops, vehicles. Orders. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass, which I probably am. I do that a lot. Because I know you can you can store a vehicle and you can quote unquote quote, scrap it, but not scrap it. You can put it in your storage, but pull it apart as individual pieces. I'll make them set. Yeah, not enough, eh? so that you could reassemble the vehicle using other parts. So let's say you had an adder A and you had a, like a part of an adder B. You could store your adder A, disassemble it into three parts, then reassemble the adder B using two parts from the A, right? So I guess my, th my thinking was that somehow maybe you should, like if you can't do vehicles like where you can change loadouts, have it so that if you have a certain variant of the vehicle in your storage, that other variants of that vehicle will show up, giving you a choice of how you want to load it out. Does that make sense? So technically you're not um, building the vehicle on your own and loading it out. You're just choosing the specific type of loadout you want to use for it. Oh, no. I guess that's the only way I could... Say it so that it makes sense. All right, that guy's not gonna. Let's do this. So the warrior's got its damage side turned away from me now. There's no point in shooting him. But we can shoot at this guy, and if we miss, we'll hit the guy behind him, maybe. My head. He didn't expect that. There's got to be a way to do it with vehicles. I know they're working on a way to, to be able to like, um, load out vehicles. Mm. Still that bad, huh? So you got an ECM. Or 
Or is my sensor roll just that bad? Hmm, that's an interesting dilemma. We got a bit before that blackjack surfaces over the hill, so I don't feel too threatened here. Let's just step forward. Get out of the fire. Take this guy on. Oof, really. That's not too too bad. Mm, let's just go with two meat. Let's just go with the Yeah. More chances to hit. Fine by me. Take the more chances to hit at 40%. What are your orders, Skipper? Let's not get too far forward, but just continue to move up. Let's get into here. Affirmative, Commander. Okay, now let's go ahead and use some chaff on this guy. Make it harder for him to hit. Waiting for orders. Alright, now that guy should be in range, giant. Can you think you can put some incendiaries down there? He's not in range yet. He is not in range. But he does move up to here. We got lots of these, so let's drop that in there. He does move forward, so maybe he'll move into them. I don't know. Commander. All right, Hazy. Move order Not going to get any better than this. Let's leave these off, though. Yeah, see, the damage just is not there. That hit something good. So you get like, I don't know, some clan vehicles that at least have good speed with the same loadout, then it's worth it. I want to try and get a bunch of hover vehicles. The speed is really the only thing that's going to save you. Order. Like being able to stay far enough away from the enemy. 12%, eh? Over Moving here. Out. So we got some HE left. Let's see if we can hit this guy back here. Well, at least they're illuminated. Might help out. We're gonna keep pushing the um, the enforcer forward. How many did we get? Five. Ten. Nice. Good to go. Nice. Two dog. Move order received. You do me a favor and shoot this guy, please. Beautiful. Have a seat, buddy. I want to see if this hostile gets up this turn. Okay, so the mortar came close, but the other one did Damage not. Light. Yeah, he hit the mine. So at least he'll take some burn damage. Like, his armor is okay. Wish that AWACS had a good direct fire weapon. On my way. Alright, that's pretty good. So he shot. Oh, I blew his leg off. That's why. Let's go after his other leg. Locking. I was like, "Did he go through the sensors?" And I completely forgot. I knocked his ass over. Okay, beautifully bailed out. Now I don't know who the guy we're supposed to assassinate is. I thought that might have been him, but there's been plenty of assassinate missions that the uh, the Chikada has always been the uh, guy you're supposed to kill. You need me to hold steel for you. Hello. 
Yes, Commander. So this guy's not even getting up. Makes me wonder if he's done for the day. I'm Until he way. bleeds out. So we're going to leave him there and see what happens. I'm just going to forget about him. See if he bleeds out. Because I'm interested to know if that's what happens. Uh, let's wind it up a bit. See if we can take this guy out. Wow, that was terrible. Oh, we still got him though. Reporting vehicle to okay, three down. Ready for orders. Yep, just forget that guy. No Over shoot, here. Just running. Got it. This mantis just looks ridiculous. It's actually not a bad mech though. If you look at the loadout on it, it's actually not that bad. I did a few tweaks and adjustments to it. Oh, somebody's back there. Could be pepper boxes though. Arbiter. Okay, that's interesting. That's probably the main guy. All right. Confirmed. Get into here. Double time. Let's go. I'm gonna keep this. Um, I want to chaff this. I think I want to chaff this guy. Because he's the guy that can see me right now. Make it harder for him to hit. This guy's finally getting into battle. Oh man, those are uh, big guns. Not much armor left in that location. I can see that. Everybody on the blackjack. Hey. Everybody on the blackjack. Can I get a direct line of sight? I cannot. Uh. Let's get over here. I want to get to the mine dispenser up there, but I got a feeling he'll at least push into here. I mean, where can we hit the mine dispenser? Dispenser. Oh, well, I can hit this hill too. Right there. Enjoy it, buddy. Out of SRM. All right, that's a pretty good loadout. What's up, boss? A pretty good land, I mean. Let's get over here. On my way. These mobile turrets are really slow. And you can supply this guy some mines. Let's put them right in front. I wonder if I should go incendiary. Let's do incendiary on the first turn. Doesn't do a lot of mine damage, but it does three Roger. heat per mine that goes off. So if he if he triggers twenty mines, then it's like sixty heat, right? So and if he's Standing rocking high. those heavy pulse lasers, let's get you uh, somewhere where that guy can't see you. Roger what do you say? Let's just not be over there. So many times my guys get caught out in the open like that. Six point two. What's the best chance to hit if we just kind of roam around? 12 on this guy. 32. Now we're shooting. We're not shooting him. 16 on the blackjack. 4, 6, 12. Yeah, so. Let's go after the blackjack. Goad him into coming after us. Come on, buddy. We're over here now. You know you want to come Negative and get some. Damage. Still holding on armor wise, although I'm suspecting those AMSs are almost done. Get up over here. I'm not going to shoot, but we're at an angle. If we need to, we can. At least we shot that one down this time. Light damage, Commander. Excellent. Yeah, go through the mines, baby. 
So 15 of them went off. He had barely taken any damage before. So yeah, I mean, almost nothing with the uh, with the incendiaries, but at least he's on fire. He'll take fire damage every turn he's over there now. Commander. Get the Bradford up here. Looks like a Bradley. Uh, we're gonna go with standard on, if we're gonna fire on this guy, so 21, 12, 16, 10. Guy on the ground. Let's go up to this guy. Nope. Eh, at least we got some illumination on him. Yeah. Alright, double dog. Get up here. All in there. Man, battles with just the vehicles always take forever because it's just... They do so little damage and they move so very, very, like, not very far. Especially if they're tracked. If you have wheeled vehicles and you're in the open, or hovercraft and you're in the open, it's a joy, it really is, but without that, it's it's just tough. I want to see if we can face off the Enforcer against their Arbiter. Receiving you. Yeah, see, he's still lying there. It'll be interesting to see. That's three turns now, I think. I, I wonder if you'll bleed out. Let's not get in a direct line of sight with the Arbiter, please. I have a feeling at that range he's going to be pretty deadly. Or he could be deadly. Let's get in the trees. Let's move to here. I think we'll probably be okay. We should have at least four, maybe five evasion here. Plus the trees, so... We got four. Alright, not too bad. We're going to shoot on this tank, though. I want this guy gone. Got it. Two on, not bad. Be nice to get this guy. Six damage, so what? Pepper boxes probably? Commander. Rotary two, maybe? Like I don't know. Don't know what he'd have. Sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to kill these vehicles. You guys are just too slow getting up here. Um, yeah, let's go all out in this guy, see if we can kill him in one shot here. Nah, they got chunky armor. I'm out of short range missiles. Oh, well, still not bad though. I'm here. Hmm, sprint. Stay behind the rock, though. Just in case that uh, blackjack comes over the hill. Save the LK from where we have a good direct, direct, good direct line of shot. A good direct line of sight shot. Speaking too fast. What are your orders, Skipper? All right, buddy. Um, let's not give the blackjack your number. Moving to here, though. Aye, aye, Skipper. Full speed. No target. Ooh, our arrow's back. I'm gonna put some sensors on this guy this time. Here we go. Four tags are on. The barrage might get lucky and kill him. Might get lucky. Yes, keep moving up there. Beautiful. I have no idea what happened to him, though. Come on, I want to see what happened to him. Ah, I can't tell. Good damage in his legs, though. He's got pirate large pulse lasers that are pretty much already fucked. They may do more damage, but you ain't gonna get that many rounds of shooting with them. Okay, moving up to here. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Uh, let's just... Nah, we got, we got, we got the, we got the firepower, we're okay. Illuminate him. Orders. Illuminator. Let's get a full sprint up here. 
Hmm, wait, you're the damage one on the left side, so you're probably okay here. Double time, let's go. Keep our left side of that uh, blackjack. We're gonna drop some more mines over there this turn. Locked on. Okay, two hits, look pretty good. Pretty good! So this turret's still gotta go. It's got the mines. Commander. Yeah, I don't wanna jinx it, but I mean the AWAX is doing okay. Like compared to a lot of the other um, copters and stuff that I've used or VTOLs. Um, it doesn't I mean it gets targeted a lot less. Especially when it's with all the other mechs and vehicles. And it just doesn't get hit very much. It's kind of nice. It's, uh, it's kind of really nice. So let's switch out of the incendiaries. Let's give this guy an FU. Enjoy those mines, Bubba. It's right here. Where this uh, lance really excels is ambushing convoys. Move. The mines coupled with the uh, enforcer's heavy firepower um, generally does a pretty good job. I usually use the vehicles to flank and use the two mobile turrets and the enforcer to block and then the mantis is just of course running around like he normally does. But it'll be, it'll be nice when I can get a narc on that mantis. You shot after he fired. Or after the missile landed, that is. Beautiful. Got both of them back there. Ready for orders. Okay, that blackjack is out of position now. So I feel good about moving blackjack. up here. Plus, he's got a lot of mines to traverse. He decided to eject after I moved. I was lining him up for a shot, and he's like, Yeah, no, bud. You ain't shooting at me today. I'm just going <laughs> to. I'm just gonna bail. Yes, command. I don't know if that's a bug or not, or if that's how it's supposed to be now. But I'm I'm noticing there's been a lot of bailouts, like late bailouts. So you maneuver to go after somebody, and then they just bail out. All right, dial is back to three. We'll fire on this guy with everything. Hopefully, we can take him down or pretty close to it. Well, everything but the big one hit. Probably should just turn that off. I don't know what he thinks he's doing back there, but you ain't getting anything done back there, buddy. Good to go. I wish my mine layers were close enough that I could just drop shit on you, but we're not Going yet. Full speed. All right, we got 41 augmented rounds, so let's switch to actually fuck this guy over here. Fuck this guy. Let's give him the hellscape. Burn you bastard. Ah, he's barely heated up. Ready to rock. He must have prototype double heat sinks. Hmm. That is a possibility. Let's try not to give that guy my... How can I turn more here? I got Let's not give that guy my backside. Okay, did I detect somebody else? Or no? Okay, I thought I heard somebody else being detected. Gonna go with sensors on this guy and fire. Keep him spotted back there so when he moves it hopefully it'll be a little easier to hit him. It's not always the case. Yeah, this pilot on the ground, man. I don't know. I don't know. 
really Suck it. Better that hurt. Bet it did. What's up, Commander? Let's get you on the Sestral hover tank. Sestras, sorry. Taking the ship. Beautiful. You're redeeming yourself. Yeah, blow up, blow up, blow up. Not gonna happen. Not quite enough. But it wasn't too bad, I mean, like a half decent amount of damage there. It looks like it was like nine on each side or something. Yeah, I mean, it's slowly getting there with the Inferno. At least sitting in the fire causes burn damage. But, I don't know. Order. Okay, um... Let's get up to here. Look at this vehicle hugging the wall here. Okay, we do have range on this guy, but he's stealth it looks like. I want to pot shot him. Wait, what was the chance on this guy? 20 something? I don't know. Let's just go after this guy. Maybe we get lucky and kill him. We got the flare on him. At least we got the flare on him. Let's maybe get up here and try and shoot something. Come on, Bubba. Get that tank up here. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how far I can take this crew. Like, I mean, if we had all demolishers, even then, though, like, let's say we had... I couldn't drop them all. I just wouldn't be able to have the weight to do it. Right? But if I had two demolishers and then like a bunch of 60 tonners Negative damage. with like chunky, chunky Negative armor damage. and like an AC-10 or something, we might be able to get shit done, but they'd be so slow. I'd have to have like dedicated defensive mechs with ECMs on, on active and um, yeah, ECMs on active, a pair of AMS Mark IIs just to cover them, you know? Oh, he's finally getting up. Oh, you fucker. Want to play some games? So I wonder if that's six turns. It is round nine now. Is how many turns he's down and out for. So the pilot doesn't get killed. He's got two wounds. I don't want to blow this guy up, though. Be nice to get the parts from him. But whatever. Yeah. What can I do? I'll leave the vehicles to handle that. We got we got bigger fishers to fry over here. I should be up high enough. I'm not going to shoot my own guy in the back. In theory, this guy's actually a pretty good shot. So, yeah, not too bad. A little worse on that guy. Let's get the vehicle here. I think. Actually, let's turn that off. And let's wind the rotary up. Yeah, man, maybe not. We're running, we're running low on ammo. Okay, that should be a cleanup for somebody. He's pretty much done, that guy. You chicken shit. Receiving you. Can you get... Oh, uh, you can't. Oh, there's a big cleft here, that's why. Alright, well... Can I actually get down from here? I can't. Oh, I did not realize that I could not get down from here. Moving to position. I guess I, I, I guess that's why these guys went this route. I'm gonna have to use my HE to blow up all the. Uh... Attacking from position. Nice. I'm gonna have to use my HE to blow up all the mines then, I guess. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Do I have any HE left? I think I got two rounds left, don't I? Coordinates received. Sub dog. Hey, uh, did I tell you I've got Artemis ammo? Yeah, see, look. Lots of it. Have a seat, buddy. Oh, never mind. Bail out instead. Waiting for orders. 
Um, so there's no way to get over there from here. So we have to go this way. You know what would be nice? Phantom movement marks. So you know in house you know how in some games where you're playing scored a critical hit. And like I mean most tactical movement games, like at least the tactical board games that I've played, where you want to move a unit and it goes past the their the movement like length, and you click, it shows like, like in Civs the same thing. It shows you how many turns it would take to get there. They should have the same thing with this, not necessarily give you the maximum distance you can travel. But it like it would be white dots to here, and then after that it would be gray or black, showing you that that's you know there's still a path. So if I click back here like this, it would show you the pathway to get there, um, like along the ground. So you'd know at least if you can actually get along that way or not. Because you'd think with your sensors and everything, it would give you at least the ability to do like. Like, see the ground anyway, or at least know where you can go. Alright, we're gonna go sensor again on this guy. Tag. Firing. Our primary target is taking damage. Hopefully his way out of here is through us. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Yes! So he's bleeding and knocked down. It's interesting. I'm here. I'm interested to see how that plays out. Like how it's going to affect... Like if you have a pilot that's knocked down and is bleeding is out for a bit. Um, I wonder how that's going to play out like after the battle. Did that say what I thought it said? Oh, it's a rotor AC2 pilot. Oh, okay. Pirate. I thought it said Rack 20 Pirate. And I'm like, how the hell? Yeah. How the hell is he even Rack 20? Take it over here. No problem. Much as I want to shoot that guy back there with mines, I think. Oh, the Bradford's coming out to play. Finally. I'm showing minor damage. Commander. The Bradford's coming out to play. We gotta get through... What the hell? Why is that such a big target? We gotta get through here, so let's do... That. We got two rounds left, perfect. Okay. Launch one into there. And miss, of course. Because why would we hit where we wanted to hit? Systems holding. I guess it's a... The radius is where the missile could possibly hit. Fair enough. You got me. No, you know what? Screw you. We're not going to wait over there for you. We got to go this way. Just running. Got it. Got an arbiter to kill. Standing by. Can you get this guy? You certainly can. Maybe you can finish him off. Let's hope we get him and he doesn't get us. We'll fire it all. Firing. Oh my god, are you serious? Dude! Skipper. Kicking me in the dick here. Um. Um is not a word. Nope. Um, what if we can get. There we go. Back shot in this guy. Sensors again. We got lots of missiles, so I'm not worried about this thing. It never runs out of ammo. An LRM-5 with two, ton <laughs> two tons of ammo just doesn't run out in any battle you fight in. Oh, finally landing a few shots. Gonna put some chaff on you next turn. Alright, this guy's coming out to play. As much as I want to shoot that that uh, Bradford, got to see what our chance on this guy is. Forty-seven with the ER large. Let's dial the rack back. Target acquired. Ooh, not quite enough, eh? Yes, Commander. Maybe his next move will uh, will kill him. 
Going We're gonna front. finish this guy off on the ground, though. 19 left in the leg, eh? Come on, bail out. Critical hit. Damn it. Yes, Commander. All right, Hazy Boo. Three points, eh? Just one pulse laser hits all we need. God damn it. Well, it looks like he's just got mortars left. Damage is light. Damage is minor, Commander. Got his heavy machine gun. So it is a different Bradford than what we have. Hey. Copy. Yeah, you got too much shit to fire at this guy, though. I want to blow him up. Well, he's got lots of armor. Let's go this route. Hope we hit his leg. Hey. Oh, come on. Fuck's sake. Waiting for orders. You got machine guns. Let's use them. Okay. Get those machine guns on there. Let's do it. There you go. Target eliminated. All it takes is machine guns. Yep. Machine guns, FTW guys. All right, see if we can get up here and do something. We went right up a cliff. Look at that. And yet we can't drive down the other side, apparently. Got one HE round left. Yes, Commander. All right, Baron. Let's hopefully we land it in here and it clears it. We don't need the flare though. Copy oh that. shit. Okay, that's nice. No LRM remaining. That'll give us this hill here. I don't know if we can get down this cliff, but at least we can get this hill with a little better chance to target this guy. Receiving you. All right, buddy. Um, yeah. Confirmed. This guy had jump jets at one time. I took them off. I can't remember what I put in instead of the jump jets. Might have been another ER medium or something. Engaging with Because I didn't really need the mobility all that much, but maybe it would be a good idea to put some of them back in. with the laser. He's starting to heat up. Hey, yo. hey Comet. Um, not enough. Let's get over here. Might be able to pull him back out. I don't know. Uh, sensors. We've got the arrow back. Let's use it. Okay. Good to go. I copy. <sighs> it's gonna be a long fight, guys. I suppose that's some myth. I'm here. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. I don't think the remote sensors can land back here yet too far away. You say so. We'll keep shooting. Me. Figures. Orders. Now. Should be in range for the mines. Which he is. He's been kind of bouncing back and forth through here. So let's put this like right... Some of these are going to go off the cliff. Let's try and keep as many of them on here as we can. Target acquired. All right, not very many of them went off. Beautiful. Commander. Wow. That. Oh no! It looks like that is the same Bradford that we have. I, I, I completely forgot we have a heavy machine gun. I just generally don't use it. Oh, well, that's a little better. We'll take that shot. 
Ah, uh, the little illumination at least. Who else is up? Hayes. Okay, we stay away from the mines that way. Got the Lerm 10. I'm gonna drop it on this guy. Target lock on Might get lucky and clip him. Okay, wheel propulsion crit. Reporting critical hit. Ah, he's not bailing out. Well, at least he's been ineffectual the whole battle, pretty much. He did a little bit of splash at the beginning. He's been illuminating us, but they hit, he doesn't have any allies to shoot us, so it's... Orders. We've been very, very, um, lucky that way. The large laser up here. Get our double larges. Ready for order. Two double. Uh, I got up to here. Hold this thing is slow. No okay, a little bit of damage. Ready for orders. Glad he doesn't have the cheat armor. Sorry, I still, I'm still going to call hard gel cheat armor. <laughs> it's nothing more annoying than blasting a uh, elemental, and then, hang on, there we go. Nothing more annoying than blasting an elemental, and then next Move turn, it like, it's he's just fixed. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't he doesn't fix everything? Obviously, I know that. Okay, we got to pull back now. He's heating up nicely, though. Waiting for orders. He did not move. Still got some more augmented here. Put it there. Engaging. I wonder if he's wise to my trick and he's like, "Oh shit, there's mines everywhere. I can't Water. go anywhere." Well, not that much better, but we'll move in a little bit. All right. Target confirmed. Come on. Gonna give this Negative mecha two dog in a minute. Put a couple large lasers in it. Skipper. I'm there. Back up a little bit. We're kind of okay still for armor. He needs to hit us really hard in order to do anything. Um, let's go with Chaps, so he can't really hit us. We missed with the tag? He did. That's alright. That's alright. Oh, no. I'll try. I don't mind playing this lance. It's actually kind of challenging to try and figure out how you're going to get these vehicles to like survive a battle and be able to deal damage to the enemy at the same time because you just can't pull out and shoot at them, right? Because the retaliation is brutal. Target acquired. There we go. Now he's starting getting his number here. Starting to get his number here. Affirmative. Like, once they decide that they want to kill one of your vehicles, there's not a damn thing you can really do to, to stop them. I ran a One Skull uh, Clan ambush convoy, That's a and they almost murdered me. I lost two vehicles, um, one of them permanently. And I mean, it's, that's not really a lot in a battle, but still, it's a fair bit if you're, like, playing a match that should be, like, you know, a milk run. Commander. And it's just because they decided they hated certain vehicles and they just murdered them. They're like, ah, I don't like that guy, let's kill that guy. And they just all shot at him. Alright. Standing by. Yeah, they're too out of range. Out of all of us, you have the best chance to get around there in time to actually do something. Right here. Let's hope the rotary is in range here. I doubt it, though. Oh, it is. Oh, well, hello there. He's standing in sensors, too, right? So... We out of ammo? We're out of, no, we're not out of ammo. We got lots of ammo. I got two tons of ammo in this thing. Finally. Ready to rock. You got it. 
Get some more chaff on him. I think it's probably because this guy's standing in sensors too and he didn't move. Okay, 19 landmines, not bad. He's still shooting. I wonder if we got a chance to get... Um, Receiving you. Hydra's got a limited range. So I don't know if we can get... the Hydra on him. He's probably... Oh, he's in range for Hydra. I'm fine with that. I think I hit something good. Hey. Come on, let's finish this up. Ooh, direct line of sight. There. Okay. Take that. We need to get Artemis on this guy too. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that on. Got some LK left over, firing that. Come on, bailout. Critical. Well, we got the knockdown anyway. It pretty much ensures that he's dead next turn. Waiting for orders. Nothing, huh? Roger that. Venting heat and stabilizing. LRM 10. 32%. Let's go for the torso. Roger. I might do it. Apparently not. Yes, Commander. Got one round left. Let's be the hero. Let's be the hero and see if we can core this guy. On Come on. Nope. Nope. No oh, he bailed out though. Beautiful. That's, I could, it's even better than I could imagine. Mission successful. Alright, 258,000. See what we get here salvage wise. An arbiter would be nice to pick up, but we need five parts of it to be able to make it work. So... Let's just see here. Lucky I didn't get wounded here. Oh, there are five parts. 35 tons. So this thing's got one missile, one ballistic, and one laser hardpoint, plus three supports. Ace pilot and multi-tracker on scrapper. Ooh, that's kind of really nice. Like, that's like super good. And then plus two resolve gain. Ah, eh, it's not bad, but... Resolve is like one of the easiest things to, to, to get, so it's not such a big deal. And I don't think there's really... I mean, there's the Thunderbolt 15. Pirate large pulse lasers, rotary, light engine, prototype double heatsink kit. I think I've got one of these. No, I don't. I've got a light engine, though. I think I've got a radical prototype double heatsink kit. That's what it is. Arm recoil. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go with this. I know it's not a vehicle, but I can't finish off any vehicles here. Cestrus doesn't have a lot of armor on it, so it's kind of not worth grabbing. The Bradford we've already got. Urban tank LRM would be okay, but I don't have any parts. Oh, I got two parts for that, but not enough to finish it off. This is actually not a bad vehicle. Not bad at all. Uh, it's slow, but... Um, it's firepower is actually pretty good. Yeah, so we'll go with this. Okay, we've got the Arbiter, Hunchback part, also part, a couple of Warrior parts. So what's the armor on this guy? Not very good. Although I'm long fired in a pair of streaks. AC5. Uh, heavy machine gun, I think we'll ditch. Streak 2. I don't think we're going to be going with streaks. Grenade launcher I might, I might use, I don't know. Armor can go, structure can go, machine gun ammo can go, SRM ammo, we got two. Yeah. So overall, that's not too bad. I don't know if anybody's ever tried vehicle playthroughs before. Oh yeah, the other thing too is, if you notice here now, all the pilots are back in a couple of days. They lowered the uh, fatigue because of the increased um, injury chances. So if you get injured in a fight, you could be out for a lot longer, or there could be more complications, meaning... Uh, the longer your pilot is injured for, there could be complications in, in healing, which means they may not be back for quite a while. So they've reduced the fatigue chances here to compensate for that, which means you can actually get back into battle more often. Um, which, I don't know, I guess it's kind of a balance in a way, but I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, if you, I don't know if you've ever tried a vehicle playthrough, but 
uh, my suggestion if you're going to do it, um, you'll want to try and get as many um, drop slots as you can. So if we go to, um, uh, where are we here? Engineering. So I quickly went and got the, uh, the uh, scrap leopard. I got the two vehicle storage and two mech storage. So it allows me to use four more vehicles if I want to, or six mechs and, and four vehicles. I'm using them for vehicle slots. I'm only going to use like four mechs. Everything else is going to be vehicles. So this gives me four more vehicles. So I get six vehicles. Um, but then that means you need the beta pod because you can only field nine with the alpha pod. So you need the beta pod to be able to get eight more pilots to be able to get that tenth pilot to be able to run um, all of the slots. So I'm dropping with one mi like minus one vehicle right now because I don't have enough pilots. Um, so yeah, it's tough, and you'll need to get a couple of good mechs so you can hit above your weight to try and grab those vehicle pieces. And don't be a fool like me, like, well, not really a fool, but for this particular playthrough, I put this salvage at five, only because these guys weren't um, frontline units, they're not high tech, so it's harder for them to recover parts off of the battlefield, which means it takes them longer to put stuff together, which is why I'm at five. I can't change that now because it's a fixed setting. Um, I would have dropped it to three if I could, but I can't. So um, I would recommend starting out with three parts. And then, you know, whatever heavier mechs you have, use to hit as many, like, get as many vehicle parts as you can. And then dial the heavy mechs back as you bring the vehicles up to balance out the whole lance. It's tough to balance mechs and vehicles because they're just not... The firepower and the armor is just, they're nice just to totally, down, like, it's night and day, point. right? But you can do a lot of damage with vehicles. You can, but you have to have really good pilots and they have to have good armor. Without good armor, they're just, you're just like looking at getting them killed, right? Like this guy can't really close with the enemy. He could probably close for one turn and then he had to back off, but he'll go down at like, you know, medium max or higher. They'll just kill him pretty quickly. AWAX is, is okay right now. The armor is all right. You saw it did okay against the Arbiter, but after it started landing some shots, if that thing had a pair of large lasers, it would have been a different story. We wouldn't have been able to stay close to it. Um, the Goblin's only got a single large laser and a machine gun. So while the armor is pretty good, right, it's just pretty much useless, the single large laser. If you're not, if you're not landing it every single turn, it's just a waste of a vehicle. Uh, the Bulldog's got multiple weapons, a pair of SRM-4s and a large laser, but you need to get close to it with it. And it doesn't really have that much armor. I mean, it's okay if I had a lot of longer range weapons. Like if this was like an LRM-20 and... And a, and a medium laser or something, it wouldn't be too bad because I could stay back and shoot. But with this armor, you got to close in and then you're just a, a target to die. And the Prowler is very similar. Armor is mediocre and the weaponry is okay, but you know, you've only got a ton of LRM ammo. So once that's gone, you have to close with your enemy. And you're pretty slow at 4 6. So by the time you get in there, you're pretty much done for. So it's really, it's really tough to get those vehicle parts that you need. Um, and I've got a Tiger part, this thing's okay. Armor's not that great, but it's got an AC-10 on it. I prefer having this on the battle battlefield because at least the AC-10's got some range. And, and when it does land, you know, it's doing half decent damage. I got a Condor here, which I'm hoping to put together. Um, it's a lot faster, it's A-12. So the armor's, you know, while the armor is about comparable to everything else I have, and this thing's only got three medium um, pirate heavy lasers, um, which do respectable amount of damage. The, the movement of 812 makes all the difference because you get so much more uh, evasion and you can dart in and then dart out again, right? So you can limit your exposure to the enemy. Drillson's okay. Uh, the armor, once again, is okay. You got a large and LRM-10, which means you can stay back and fire. But like I said, you just really have to decide. Like, I know the vehicles are really meant to be support vehicles, they're not really meant to be main combat vehicles. Like we've almost got enough for another Cloudbuster here, which is pretty good. I mean, this this actual vehicle is actually pretty good. The armor is okay. The weapon range is good. It is slow at four six, um, but it does have the what's it called um, fire control system flak, which allows you to ignore two evasion um, chevrons. So if you've got a, a fast moving like fast moving Max or aircraft. Um, one of these guys, it's, it's pretty good to shoot stuff down. As you can see in that last battle, the, uh, um, the Cloudbuster had, most of the time, had uh, better chances to hit 
against moving targets than the rest of the units. So these things are actually quite good if you can get them. Um, urban tanks are all variable. Like the armor on this is pretty good and with a pair of LRM 15s. Yeah, so what? It's going 3.5, but if you're staying back shooting at long range uh, with a pair of LRM 15s and it's got ample ammo, it's got enough for 13 turns of firing. So, you know, you just sit back there and hammer people. Um, and then the rest of the stuff is just, you know, it's all situational whether the hunter is going to be usable or not. It's got good frontal armor, but then once again, you got to get in close. 5.8 movement speed, so I don't know, maybe I'll use it. Um, I just need to get the parts for it. And then, of course, the lower level vehicles. You want to trade up as, as fast as you can. Like this, the striker is actually pretty good. If you look at the armor on it, it's actually pretty good. Once again, with the LRM 15 and a 5.8 movement speed, you can stay back and harass the enemy. Now, I don't know how many tons of uh, ammo this thing has. Um, it doesn't tell you. It's probably one ton, which means you're only going to have like eight, eight turns of shooting. For me, I would drop the two streaks and put another ton of LRM ammo and a, and a medium laser. Um, that's what I would do with the striker, but you know, once again, it is what it is. The copperheads are like, meh. Anyway, but I mean, I'm sure you guys can figure that out on your own when you're doing it. And then the, the lower level copters, I just haven't found one that's that I'd want to pick up and use. Um, the AWACS is great, but these lighter ones, I mean, yeah, this thing's got a Gauss rifle, but it's got no armor to speak of. So once it gets in close, you know, a good large laser hit or someone with an accurate LRM burst and you're pretty much done for, right? And they'll gangbang it. They'll just take it down. And you can sit back with the Gauss rifle, but I think this thing's only got eight shots in it, and then it's useless. So then it's you, it's just taking up space. So use it if you've got no, nothing else to use, but it just takes up space on the battlefield. You're better off doing like having like a, something with a large laser that can fire for longer than eight turns. Because I'll I'll tell you, some of the battles will definitely be longer than eight turns. Like that last one. All right, good example. You want to be shooting all the time if you can. So, all right, Arbiter, let's see what this guy's got. Well, he's got stealth on him, eh? So this is like the Battlemaster chassis. At least it looks like that. Or is it the Zeus? I don't know. Oh, we got, actually got a fair bit of stuff on this thing. So we lost the core and the light engine. But the gyro and the, and the, the uh, prototype double heatsink kit here survived the stealth x survived we got rack 2 ammo but no rack 2 that's no big deal we can fit it with something else i mean we got a gauss rifle lbx or we could go i mean yeah we could go ppc or we could go missile boat on this guy for indirect fire and bring it in when we want to just go after uh C bills or something, or we could drop it with an MRM 20 on this guy as a replacement for the main weapon. I don't know. Mortar 8. I mean, there's a lot of options. Now ah, we got the ballistic on this side. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of options for this guy for the future, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to bother repairing him for now. How much is it? Ah, 205,000? Sure. Might as well get it fixed and sitting there ready to go if we need to. All right, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Um, you know just so you know, coming up in the future, um, I am working on getting the next scenario for the Battle of Astrakhan. I know I've mentioned it a couple times in the past few episodes. It's taking a little longer than I expected, um, only because I've been working on the Battle for Lhasa. Um, I've been still doing some Seven Days to Die stuff. i got to get those a few more episodes edited and posted. Actually, i got one for tonight that i got to post. Um, and then getting this up so... Yeah, a bunch of stuff's going on, but there will be a lot of episodes coming up this summertime um, for the Battle of Astrakhazi. The next major battle is going to start, and then that'll end the series. Um, and then I think moving forward, I'll probably be doing my future series in a very similar way, where it'll be a uh, main battlefield. It'll be much like Lasso, but it'll just be me playing, I think. Um, and then the second scenario after the Battle of Lhasa will be taking place. Um, the rules you're about to see for the Battle of Astrakhazi coming up, we're going to be um, taking those over to the next um, version after the Battle of Lhasa for the multiplayer group. So keep your eyes open for that. Battle of Lhasa is probably going to last, mm, I don't know, another six to eight turns probably. We're, on, we just finished, we're just finishing up turn four now. We're averaging about two turns a week, which is what I figured it, it would be. Um, 
So we're kind of going at a nice leisurely play pace. I know there's a few players that I think want to go a little faster. So I'm working on ways that we can accommodate uh, more fighting uh, for those players that want to play a little more, but keep it all in the same timeline um, for those players that, that can't do that. Um, and I'll make it so that the campaigns won't be so that, oh yeah, you know, so-and-so, you know, played four or had four battles this week and now I got nothing to do. That won't happen. There'll always be something to do. Uh, whether you're on a different um, area of the front than them. So you still have your objectives, your goals that you need to accomplish in X amount of time. And if they're um, fighting on their um, front, um, your week might be one turn, their week might be one turn, but they'll have two battles in that one turn. It'll be the same duration of time, just that they're a little bit more active. That's all it is. Um, but yeah, and then... You know, we'll go from there. I want to try to make it um, accessible to everyone that wants to join. Now, I mean, it, at some point it'll probably get too unwieldy, but, um, you know, there can be spin offs where I can generate maps and the enemy, and I'll just play the opponents. Um, and we don't do, like, I may, I, like, I know for the next series after Lassa, um, I'll probably have a series group where we are like the people that are playing in the actual series because if it gets too bloated and we have too many people doing a series and updates is going to be too hard but it won't stop me from doing it I just won't do anything for a series it'll just remain on discord um, and we'll play the series through discord um, and we'll play it as we're doing now I just won't have any update videos and then what I might do is for the for the uh, battles that I run um, I'll record the videos and then post them on their own um, channel so people at least have a kind of rough idea of what's going on in the battle I'll throw the whole map up give a brief overview show you where I'm fighting and then we'll do my battle and and then report back at the end so um, yeah I'm gonna end this episode here guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and please drop your comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later